Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Blade 161998 versus Strike 161998. Stay tuned. Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go! We got the Axiom line here, the 9-pack Duffel, my favorite bag, the 9-pack Axiom 2.0, they even make a 12-pack if you're going on tour, and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, guys. So we all know Coach Chris is on a racket journey, and I might as well give him these two in a head-to-head -head comparison because these two are probably the most popular rackets in the category. So we got Blade 98, 1619, and Strike 98, 1619. People are always comparing these two rackets, and we got our Blade fans, and then we got our Strike fans. From the numbers, this is 21 constant beam, 21 all the way through. This is 21, 23, 21. So it's just a hair thicker over here for a little more power. This comes in a little stiffer in the RA at 64. This is a 62. So I've always said this is all a little more powerful. This is a little more powerful and a little firmer. And people, you know, depending on the person, do you want a little more power? Do you want a hair more control though? But let's take these on the court and see what Coach Chris says and see if one of these can be part of his racket journey. Okay, see you on the court. We just got off the court. Strike 98, 1619, Blade 1619, 98. As part of your racket journey, you've tried the strike a few weeks back. Yep. You have held this racket for probably the last week and a half, mm -hmm. the blade. Tell me what you feel as the difference and what you like within the two rackets and what you disliked. Okay. So let's start off with the strike. Um, and I, I have never really. Babolat's probably are a little bit newer to me, and the strike line, I think, plays in that wheelhouse of a faster racket head speed. This is on the thinner side compared to the arrow and um, the pure drive. Um, I liked it. Uh, like I said before, I think this is a good racket for control. 
Um, I did feel like this was a bit more forgiving overall in the sweet spot when I'm hitting it. Um, stable um, with this racket. So Babolat did a really good job, I think, with this year's model. The blade, uh, I like it. it. This definitely reminded me more of a pro's racket. Um, although it does take a little bit more time to adjust. I think out of all the other lines, the weight of it is a little bit different too. Um, again, it's very similar to the Strike, but I would say this one it um, is not as stiff as the Strike. Uh, but I feel like I get a little bit more comfort when I'm hitting this. So this pockets really well. Um, pretty versatile at the net too as well and although for what I would add for both of these there's a little bit more weight I think to it um, I think it's lacking on that side of things too as well so so we need to customize this one a little bit more for you by yeah. adding a little bit of weight at the probably at the yeah, three and nine the three and nine area right on the sides here yeah but that's kind of what I've been feeling with the blade it plays fine but something that I would you know, especially when I've been thinking about Harry's giving me a bunch of rackets and also old rackets, old frames too. <laughs> Something that I've just been kind of, you know, looking at, comparing what the graphite frames were back then to compare to now. Um, there's a lot of technology um, that, in the past couple of decades. So. Well, I feel like they've, they've kind of, I don't want to say they screwed it up, but they made it kind of meant for everyone yeah. versus back in the day they meant you know I, I think it's just century differences or, or time differences of of uh of 10 years or 30 years i mean everything was head heavy everything was heavier <coughs> overall <coughs> so that kind of suits you and me a little bit more yep. whereas today they've gotten a lot lighter they've yep. gotten a lot head lighter yep. um that alters the stability it mm. alters the the pop you get. Yep. I mean, it, it quickens up your 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 head speed, though. Yep. That's the thing. So yep. they kind of gave up the uh, weight for you know giving you the whip. Mm. You know, given that we no longer hold it with a continental grip, you know, it, it, it's it's a little different. I mean, you and I just like weight, and we want stability in the racket. We want plow through. Yeah. Um, and, and you're able to actually turn up on it with a heavier racket, whereas a lot of people aren't. Mm. You know, so, but I mean, I, I, I'm guessing you're leaning more towards that. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I get it. So what Coach Chris was saying with this racket is that it, it turns up pretty easily. You kind of get the lift off the racket a little bit more. Um, the 20, the constant beam, um, helps with that a little bit and that there's a reason why it's called a blade because yep. it cuts through the air yep. um, with control mm -hmm. the strike on the other hand has a little more pop as i've always said i actually like the more pop it actually is a lot easier to play with the extra millimeters at this area helps stabilize the racket helps give it a little more pop helps give it a little more punch more power yep. which i like so, I mean, if you're, you know, wanting a control racket with a little bit more punch and power, you know, this is definitely the one for you. If you want a little more control, that's definitely the one for you. I mean, if I were to choose one of these, you know, for myself, and I'm definitely a lot older than you, uh, this is a lot easier for me to play with. So i probably go with this one just because I need the extra oomph, you know. Coach Chris, you choose that. I would choose this over the strike. Yes. Okay. All right. So guys, the blade wins it. Yeah, guys. So the blade wins it for Coach Chris. Guys, tell me what you would use or what you're using if it's one of these two and tell me why. I would love to see um, your explanations and your reasons. All right. Coach Chris, thank you for doing this comparison with me. Obviously, we have differences, and I think that's age and... My laziness. Age. <laughs> age, yeah. Yeah. And age. age. And I'm carrying around, you know, you, you might have a six pack, I might have a keg. Anyways. <laughs> You're Bud Light, I'm Bud. Oh, man. <laughs> Coach Chris, where can we find you? You can find me at CB and Chad Tennis. And that's it.
Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.